Hey guys, today we have more F12 tricks, such as this mislotted case being paired up like this. So you can think about this in two ways. One is you can do wide R, U prime, wide R prime, U2, and then undo the first three moves. And then that sets them up here and you can just insert them. Another intuitive way of thinking about it is you're doing L, F prime, L prime with your left hand, U2, and then doing the reverse to put this cross edge back in and then that's the same moves. So whichever one's easier to memorize, you can just think about it that way. Now, if you get the case from this side, then you could do the same thing left-handed from here, or if you're already facing this way and you don't wanna get a cube rotation, then what you can do is just the reverse of that. So you would first take out this pair so it ends up here, and then you would do the same thing I showed earlier. So this trick is especially good for last slot because the wide moves kind of hinder look ahead, but it doesn't matter when it's on the last slot. So when you solve this F12 case, there's always a way to force a cross on top. So if you have white on the side, then you want this on the back and then just do the algorithm for this. And you get a cross. If you have white on the front, then you hold the cross edge on the far side instead and then do the algorithm for this one. And there's a cross. Now, if you get either of those cases, but there's three cross edges on top, then simply take it out from the front like this, and then just solve this however you would normally solve it using a rotation. And then you always get a cross as well. Another great case for last slot is this one. I'll show you how you should do it for the front slot first. And that is like this. And that sets up into this case, which can be solved like this. It looks like a lot of moves, but because you're alternating fingers, it actually is really fast like this. Now from the back slot, if you did the same thing, this is more advanced, you want to avoid that regrip, otherwise it's slower if you try to do it like this with everything left-handed basically. So instead from the back slot, the faster way to do it is to just pair these up and ignore the pair you're breaking. Like this, they're paired up, insert, and then insert this one. So that would be like this. So now for this case, what I see a lot of people do is rotate and do it kind of like the beginner method where you would take these out like that, now they're paired and you can then insert it over here. The first improvement you could do, which is not the point of what I'm showing here, but is just something you should know, is after pairing them up, if you're gonna rotate, it's better not to do this, because then you have to regrip to insert into a back slot. And instead from here, you can just do L, U2, L prime, and that doesn't need a regrip. Anyway, back to here, if you were facing this side already, then this solution is fine, and then rotate, insert into a back slot. But if you're facing this side, then it's better to do this whole thing without rotations. And that would be by taking this edge and inserting it into here, but from the front. So move it to the front, insert into here, and then solve this case. So it looks like a lot of moves, but it can be done really fast because it's rotationless and good finger tricks. So now we have this corner is solved and the edge is across in the neighboring slot here. Now, if the edge was flipped, then I already showed what to do in my other video, so go check that one out. But if the edge color matches and you were facing either this side or this side, then what you can just do is treat these as two little blocks, take this block out and realign it to match this other block and then put them all back in. Or from this side, same thing, but do it like this. But if you're facing the front here, there is another way you can do it, which is by doing this and then pairing up the blocks from here, which is done with R prime F2 R. And that makes sense because you're hiding this block and then moving this block over. And then you can fix it afterwards. Now you could extend that same idea to solve this case, which can be done just by hiding this pair and moving this one here and then putting it back. In this case, I'm not so sure if that's the best because of the regrip, and you can do this without a regrip by instead doing a wide U in either direction and then moving this edge into its solve spot and undoing. And being more advanced, you could use E moves, but that is a little bit more risky. Or if you don't want to overcomplicate things, you could just rotate so it's a back slot and do keyhole. So that's it for today's F12 tricks, and I hope you're able to implement these into your solves. I do these videos with a lot of time in between because it doesn't make sense to learn them all at once, so make sure you only pick a few tricks or it's gonna be hard to remember what you've just learned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.